to velocity time graphs. In Figure 2.1f, a car accelerates from rest at 3 meters per second square, so that its velocity increases by 3 per second per second. From the velocity time graph on the right, we can see its velocity increases from 0 to 3 to 6 to 9 in consecutive 3 seconds. And what if the car has a speed of 1.5 meter per second before it starts to accelerate at the same acceleration, 3 meter per second square? Can you also draw the graph with an initial speed of 1.5 meter per second, but the same acceleration? Its velocity increases from 1.5 to 4.5 to 7.5 to 10.5 in the next consecutive 3 seconds. The graph will look like this a parallel straight line with the same slope. Why? A. Slope of a velocity time graph. The slope of a velocity time graph equals change in velocity over change in time. Hence, it is, by definition, the acceleration of the motion. Similarly, the sign of the slope also tells the direction of acceleration. A positive slope means the velocity is increasing while a negative slope means the velocity is decreasing, and therefore, a deceleration. In example 4, a velocity time graph with three different slopes is shown. There are three different accelerations. Indeed, the first part of the motion has several accelerations, and therefore, it is a uniform motion, which means the velocity is constant. B. Area under velocity time graph. The area under velocity time graph gives the change in displacement of the motion within the specific time interval. Let's take a look of the motion of bicycle in figure 2.1h. As an example, the velocity time graph in green represents its motion. In the first two seconds, it travels at 10 meters per second for two seconds. Producing a displacement of 10 times 2 equals 20 meters, which equals the area of the first rectangle here. Similarly, the displacement of the bicycle in the next consecutive 2 seconds intervals is equal to the areas of the green rectangles here. If the velocity changes with time gradually along a curve, the area under the graph can still be divided into many rectangles. And so the area under the curve is still the change in displacement during the time interval. If, on the other hand, the velocity is positive some time and the negative some time, the area under the time axis should be taken as negative. In figure 2.1i, the cyclist goes right first and then goes left. The first displacement is positive, which points to the right, and the second displacement is negative, which points to the left. In example 5, John walks to the right and rests, and then walks to the left. His velocity changes in steps. The area under the velocity time graph is to be taken as positive at the beginning and negative at the end of the motion. The positive area represents the displacement to the right, and the negative represents the displacement to the left. In example 6, you have to find out which spin tower reaches the 30 meter mark first. So you have to calculate the area under the given VT graphs. Now try checkpoint 2.